Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Mia and today, as you can see by the title, I'm doing a baby ballroom Q&A. So, whenever I do a QA, and a I always get questions about baby ballroom and it's a very, very, very popular topic. So, I thought, why not do a baby ballroom Q&A? So, as you all know, I have done a baby ballroom story time, so go and watch that, that was just basically talking you through the whole process but I know that a lot of you have specific questions so I thought I would just answer them and I got a lot of questions so I think I'm gonna do this through a couple of videos and um, make it like a mini series even if it's just two or three um, but there's too many questions to answer in one video otherwise it will literally be an hour long and we really don't want that so that's what we're doing today. This is going to be part one. And for those of you that don't know what Baby Ballroom is, it is a series on Netflix about ballroom dancing that I was on. So go take a watch. <laughs> I don't really want to advise it because I really, oh God, it makes me cringe watching it back. I'm not going to lie. Also, how are we feeling about the bright lip today? I don't really do bright lips on this channel, do I? So, so yeah, it's a really sunny day and I woke up and I thought, do you know what? Let's film today. So that's what we're going to do. But I feel like we should just get straight into it. But before we do, if you do enjoy this video, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you miss some of my future videos. I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 8.30pm, so be sure to tune in for that. And without further ado, I think we can go straight into the questions. So, like I said, um, we have quite a lot of questions, literally, like, so many questions, it's mad. So, I'm just going to pick random. So, the first question is, was it awkward doing the interviews with Jamie? Um, to be honest, it actually wasn't. Um... I feel like we're both very easy flowing people so I don't think it was awkward as such I think it was weird and unfamiliar because um well you know it's not every day you get mic'd up and put in front of a camera I mean I do know <laughs> clearly however you know what I mean like when we're at that age it's a bit unfamiliar so it was a bit strange, I suppose, at first especially, but then I feel like we actually got really into it and was like, yes, get the camera on me. Like, I feel like that's how it got at one stage, actually. Um, but all in all, I wouldn't say it was awkward, no. Like I say, it was just a little bit strange at first, but after a while, of course, you do get more familiar and you just get used to it, really. So, no, it was never awkward. Okay, someone's asked me... Um, will you go back to do the show again? So, I've had this question a few times and I will always say the same. So, I absolutely loved it. It was a great experience, you know, a once in a lifetime experience really when you think about it. And I don't actually know if they're going to do another season or not. So, I can't really say that anyway. But no, I wouldn't go on it again. Just because, um, for one, I'm obviously taking a break from dancing at the moment. And for two, I just, if I was to go back to dancing, um, I'd want to be fully focused. And I must say that it was quite distracting from actually dancing because they were everywhere all the time. Like, So I feel like it was a little bit invasive at times, almost too much. But that's... I suppose I didn't really realise that until years later um, and now, like now when I look back on it I feel like yeah like it did distract us and affect us a little bit but like I said it's a once in a lifetime experience that you know you can't really say no to so I wouldn't necessarily do it again but I don't regret it that's what I'm trying to get at I do not regret it in the slightest however I probably would not do it again so my next question then leads on to have you ever regretted going on it no 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 i have no regrets um not at all no regrets whatsoever i feel like like i said it was an amazing experience and when i look back on it now there's so many good memories um like i wouldn't i wouldn't actually say there's any bad memories just some of it i wish i could change as in like not even like what i said or anything like that 
just I wish that some of it wasn't as brutal almost I feel like some of I've said this before again where I feel like they sort of made certain people out to be people that they're not so like they mixed the words up or they showed it like they portrayed them in a different way to how they actually are so I wish that that didn't happen for those people to be fair I feel like I came across quite well not to toot my own horn but I feel like I was pretty like okay because I was nervous about that when I watched the first two episodes because I think my episode was the third or fourth um I remember watching it and I got really anxious because I was like oh my god like what are they gonna do to me <laughs> I was like oh my god but I feel like I actually came across quite well so I'm I'm happy with how my character were, and my personality was portrayed on the show but I feel like other people, some other people in particular like were just not portrayed as the person that they actually are which is sad because they were all lovely people in the show so it is sad but I couldn't do anything about that then, I can't do anything about it now but that's the only thing that I would change if I could do you know what I mean? So, no, I have no regrets for myself personally. I'm sure there's a few people that probably do, but for me personally, no regrets here. Okay, so did you make friends throughout the show? So, if you mean with the people that were there, um, well, obviously, me and Mia are already best friends. Um, I already know Olivia and Max, so we were really good friends as well. Um, I know Warren and all of them so to be honest there was no one that we didn't already know or weren't already friends with but we did make friends with a lot of like the camera crew and all of that I've got to be honest that was pretty cool um like they used to let us carry the cameras around and we thought we were so cool um but yeah like the whole crew was amazing I must say like they were really nice people and everything so we made friends through them, if that's what you mean. Um, I feel like it's quite a vague question. But yeah, like I said, the actual people in the show, we already knew and we were already friends with. So, hope that's answered your question. Someone's put, did you ever go and train at ZigZag after Baby Boreham had finished? You are so talented. Thank you very much. Um, no, we didn't, as far as I can remember. So, basically... The deal with Warren and the zigzag and me, um, I used to train there when I was really young and I used to do classes there and that's how we know Warren. Um, so we never trained there after that really. Um, so yeah, that's that's it really. We just, we I knew him from when I was younger and I grew up in the dance scene with him. So that's how we knew each other. But no, I didn't train there afterwards. Okay, someone's put opinion on Warren. So, um, opinion on Warren. I think Warren's a great guy. Um, super funny, honestly. It was... <laughs> oh, I love him. I think I think he's fabulous. Um, he's so funny. And I feel like he's a great dance teacher, especially for, like, children. I love... I remember when I used to have lessons with him when I was younger. They were always so fun. So, yeah. I think he's a great person, a great personality. He has a lot of great like ideas, um, like the gala and everything. So he's very creative and yeah, I can't really say anything bad about the man really. It was, you know, that's what got us into the show. So yeah, I think Warren is absolutely lovely um, and he's done very, very well. He did first and second series, so I don't know if there's going to be a third one. However, if it is, it'll be down to Warren, so I think he's amazing. Someone's put favourite baby ballroom memory. So, my favourite baby ballroom memory probably is the night of, like, the ball, like, the gala thing. Um, that was an amazing night, literally. I remember, so I went up with Mia and Andre. So we all went up in the same car and it was just like a great day all in all. Even the bits that weren't filmed, it was just amazing. And obviously, me and Mia both love makeup and everything, which we'll talk about that later. Um, but, you know, we got, we got ready in the car. Like, it was a great day for us. Um, 
So yeah, I think that is definitely my favourite memory of ballroom memory. It was just the most fun, the most exciting. But there was a lot more memories that were made, so... But that, I think that has definitely got to be my favourite. Like, it was just so fun and so cool. And then obviously we did... We had an award um, at the end of the night. Got a little trophy. We did our little speech. So yeah, I feel like that was a really, really nice night. Um, probably, like, the highlight of the show for me, that... Um, like I said, just because the whole day, all in all, was just lovely. Um, so, yeah, I feel like definitely, definitely that is one of my favourite, favourite memories from the show. Okay, so, um, probably the last question now. Like I said, I want to split this video, well, these videos into like a mini series just because I think it's easier and I think it's more fun to watch personally. So, someone has put... Well, we've had a lot of questions on this, haven't we? The makeup scene. Was the number seven... Well, I've got a few questions. Even Mia, actually, has put was the number seven makeup experience really that bad. Okay. But someone, real life, has put, do you think your makeup was that bad when you had it done at the Trafford Centre? I thought it was age appropriate. Okay, so let me just explain something. So, basically, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, okay? Me and Mia, well, we're very good at makeup anyway. So, you know, we went there and we thought, like, we're going to get, like, a really, like, special makeover. Like, you know, it was exciting. So we actually went full face of makeup, dolled up, looking great. And then we get there. And the makeover was at number seven, which no shade to number seven. However, in the Trafford Centre, there are, like so many other places that we could have had it done like for our age like we could have had it done at nyx you know like just it doesn't have to be like expensive but you know something a bit more girly and our age literally because number seven i don't know what and i don't want to be shady but i feel like it is associated with like the older generation a little bit so i just don't think that was the greatest choice personally and then Basically, it wasn't the makeup, like, the actual makeup as such, the style. The style's fine, like, do a natural look on me, but, you know, if you put a nude lip on this, you could say this is natural. Do you know what I mean? So, it kind of depends what you think is age appropriate. You mustn't forget that we have been brought up with makeup all our lives. We've been putting makeup on full face like this heavier since we were like eight. So, you know, then when we get, and it's just the actual makeup application wasn't great. Like there was a lot of harsh lines and everything like that. And like I said, I don't want to sound shady or like cruel or mean, but it's just the honest truth. And we were like, you know, because then we're on camera and it's hard to not feel embarrassed. And I know that sounds really, really bad, but it's true. Like, we go in looking gorgeous and then we come out looking worse than we went in. So it was just a bit embarrassing and I feel like it was just... It really was as bad as it looked. Um, and as we said, like, like I said, we weren't trying to be mean and horrible. It's just... It was just not it. It was just not it. And then, obviously, the literally, Mia Linick, Mia had a reaction to the makeup. So, that's also another down point. Um, but, yeah, we, we left very unhappy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, we were laughing, but deep down, we, it was... It actually made us feel a bit sad because we were like... <laughs> like, we actually have to be seen on camera with this. So, I don't know. Nowadays, to be honest... I feel like I wouldn't really care because I've grown as a person and like I'd be like right whatever but then like I was you know we were on TV we were young and we we're like oh my god like I can't believe I'm being seen on camera with this so to answer that question yes it really was bad and it you can say it's age appropriate but it really wasn't compared to what we've been brought up with and you know like I say they could have done natural makeup but it was the way they applied it then Mia had a reaction like it just was not a good time so that's the answer to that question. And that's where I'm going to leave it. I've been filming for 17 minutes now. So I'll hopefully sort of contract that a little bit. But I've still got loads of questions. So I'll probably do another video next week and then one the week after. Something like that. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you miss none of my future videos. Remember guys, I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 8.30pm, so be sure not to miss that. And if you aren't following me on my social media already, everything will be linked down below, along with all the products that I'm wearing on my face today, because I feel like I'm going to get a few questions for my lips, so I will leave that all down below. And I just want to say one big, big last thank you for watching, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.